Good morning. Today is Wednesday, April 22nd. Uh, I'm going to go over kind of expectations for today. Uh, today is kind of a busy day for you guys as far as my end goes. Um, so you have a little bit to do today. Uh, first off for English art, English language arts, uh, we are going to get away from the Watson to go to Birmingham for a day and uh, do something a little different just like we did last Wednesday. There are two different assignments uh, to do. Some of you have a read natural about China's bury, ancient buried army to do. Others of you have a paired passage to do today, okay? And those ones are called, when, one of them's called when, par, when Parched, and the other one Only on the West. So you do, you do not have to do both of those. You should have one of those two in your packet, and you should do the one that you have. Uh, I did put Google Forms on a Google Classroom, and I'll also send those out via the Remind app here soon. Uh, if you would like to answer the questions on the Read Natural or the Paired Passage on a Google Form on, your, on a computer, you are welcome to do that. Uh, if that's something you like better or you're more comfortable with, go for it, okay? Uh, if not, it's fine that you want, if you want to answer the questions on the hard copies that were provided for you. So that is um, ELA today. I did give kind of further instructions on my other videos about both of those things in which I read them. So if you would like to follow along as I read either one of those, um, I do have videos for that as well. And I go into a little bit more detail about maybe how you could complete those there. But one thing I would say is definitely make, take a look at the questions first. Um, get a focus for what you're gonna be reading before you actually read the Read Natural or the Paired Passage, just so you kind of better understand kind of the important details as you're reading. So that is for ELA. Uh, for social studies, you have a passage to read today about some of the major religions um, in ancient Asia that are actually still very popular in that part of the world today. And your passage is called Hinduism and Buddhism, a comparison. So we talked about uh, compare and contrast earlier this year. So we should know that a, a comparison is going to kind of tell how they are similar and how they are different from one another. So the social studies passage today looks like this, okay, and that's in toward the back of your packet. Uh, it's called Hinduism and Buddhism, a comparison. You'll notice I did um, box some key words and also kind of put some notes off to the side that are starred for some key sections that you might want to read closely. Um, here are the questions that go with your social studies today. So first one is, what is the difference between karma and dharma in Hinduism? So you probably want to pay close attention for those two words and also notice that it says difference. Uh, question two, what does Buddhism forbid that Hinduism allows? So those are two opposite definitions. What does who Buddhism forbid that Hinduism allows? And then the last one, what are three similarities that Buddhism and Hinduism share. Okay, so that um, is about your passage, social studies passage for today. Uh, you know, uh, really just look closely for keywords um, as you read. Again, there's that guide for note taking there as well. If you want to do that, that might be uh, beneficial for you. But other than that, uh, those are your two assignments for today for my class. So you have the, the Read Natural or Paired Passage for ELA, and then you have the uh, Social Studies Passage about Hinduism and Buddhism for Social Studies. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to tell you here. I don't think so. I think it's supposed to be a nice day out. It looks like it's raining kind of overcast right now, but I think it's supposed to be nice later. So um, hope you're uh, all doing well. Don't Remember, don't uh, put anything off too long because the more you put stuff off, the more you'll have to do later. So try to keep track. Use the calendar if you can uh, so you're not overburdening yourself later on. Okay? Uh, but I guess that's it, and I hope that you all have a wonderful Wednesday.